We use ultrasound, high resolution ultrasound in the office to look at joint instability as well as the, you know, how the ligaments and tendons and various joint structures look and whether the intensity under the ultrasound is normal or not. So one of my old time patients ended up getting a posterior tendon cadaver graft uh, because the, their posterior tibial tendon snapped. Um, the, and then they, the person was in the office because the surgery, it really didn't help. Like it really didn't help. And they were still having all kinds of medial arch pain, medial arch pain. The posterior tibial tendon is the main structure that's a tendon that stabilizes the arch. But what most podiatrists either don't know or don't think about or foot surgeons is the main stabilizing structures of the subtalar joint, basically the talocalcaneonavicular joint is actually the talocalcaneonavicular ligaments structures, uh, which includes the spring ligaments. So the posterior tibial tendon degenerates because of laxity, incompetency of the spring ligament complex. Uh, this is an ultrasound of the normal posterior tibial tendon, really thick, looks really good, really healthy. And when the patient came in, I just wanted to see what you know, basically a cadaver tendon looked like under ultrasound and it was like completely black. Like it actually looked dead. So it's no wonder, like it's not gonna work so good. And a lot of times when people have these tendon uh, surgeries, they don't do ligament reconstruction. So the, per so the tendon then can't support the uh, medial arch by itself. So, so this particular patient, I'll put him, well I did put him in a, really good medial arch support. And this is where orthotics do help. And then we started prolotherapy on the medial side of the ankle and the arch. It, I should also state that when a person has collapse of the medial arch, it's usually a combination, not just of the spring ligament complex, but also the deltoid ligament, which is the main ligament on the inside ankle joint or medial ankle joint. So anybody with medial arch pain should really first get an assessment by a really experienced prolotherapy therapist. Uh, you know, that's what I would do prior to any surgical intervention. And prolotherapy for medial ankle pain, medial arch pain, flat feet, acquired adult, flat feet, it works really, really good. Depending on how severe the case is, it, We'll, we'll determine how many visits, but it's normally anywhere from three to eight visits, and the treatment is very, very successful at stabilizing the medial side of the ankle and foot.